All right, here we are out here on this great big huge job that we're gonna try and figure out. We brought the entire fleet plus a little. We got both wreckers, we got the Jeep, and we've got the... Death Star. Death yeah, Star. Death Star, is that what we settled on? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that's it, the Death Star it is. <laughs> it weighs as much as a small planet, so we started calling it the Death Star. <laughs> So we're gonna go out there. We're gonna, this Toyota's off the edge of the road. We've got a lot of rigging, a lot of chains we brought with this. We think we got a plan. It looks good on paper. We've got our honorary cameraman, Ryan, behind the camera today, helping out. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna help us out today. So we got a big crew and we got a lot of vehicles and we're gonna go see if we can get one vehicle out of the predicament it's in. Here we go. Crank the, crank the dial, and then, uh, right there. Okay, go ahead and hike her up. Rory's repelling. It's actually almost a dolphin sits. I'm not. He doesn't repelling. know he's Italian. I'm not repelling. I'm keeping my. <laughs> Uncoordinated dumbass from falling down a mountain. We could almost go right off the hitch with that. With the hitch pin one. Okay. Hit your feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bueno. You want to kick that lower winch into a free spool? Well, oh at least we God, found, guys. Least we found the keys. I think it'll drive right out. <laughs> I don't know why you're making a big deal of this. <laughs> it's four wheel drive, it should back up. All right. All right, so we hooked this line up. We've got a chain running from the vehicle to the winch line because it's gonna run over some rocks and so we don't wanna damage a winch line under tension. Chains are a little more forgiving, it'll slide over stuff. We're just stabilizing the vehicle so we can start unloading all the stuff because it is very overlandy and heavy. And so we want to lighten it up as much as we can for the initial pull. So now that something is at least holding it in place, then we got to do that. Then we got to get air hose down here to air up the back tire. And then we will position to get all the other additional winches on here and start the actual pick. Spooling down the tow cable. This line to that chain, this line, these lines to that chain. I'm wanting to have the pick and pull and the safety hook. You know what I mean? I understand though. He, he got it. Ready? Yeah. Coming at you, John, watch out. Rock, 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 rock. 
Hang on, let me get these hooks together here. My super safety tape. Did we ever get a story on what happened? Like, how did he go off the road? Oh, look, there's a whole nest of rock pecker holes over there. Maybe a rock pecker come down and Ooh. tried to get after his seals. Punctured his tire. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we got this. It's coming. So what we want to do is get the truck moved about two feet, I'm guessing, up. And if we can get it moved up a little bit and twisted, then we can air that tire up, which is going to help with rolling resistance on getting it up the hill. So that's the very first thing we got to do. All right, Mike, you ready? back out the airline and I need to start trail mater and let it run. I'm hoping as long as the belly slides over that rock that, that it was hung on. Yeah. I'm hoping this tire kind of floats up onto this rock. Oh, yeah. That'll work right there Mike. I that, think that ought to Yeah I think that that's do what we're hoping yeah. for. Uh, we're sitting clear. on the belly. Sean, I'm clear the controller for that's in the glove box. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need much. Perfect. Okay. We need to take a few minutes to let the winches cool because these are working hard. So Mike, I want to run this lower and this lower down okay. and hook onto them to hold it in place while we reposition and lose the chains on these. Okay.
this one I'd like to just do away with the chain. Yeah. Go direct to the Sliders now, right here, right in the middle. All right, tighten your own mic. Hold there. Okay, Mike, okay, tighten her up. Hold there. Tighten this up. We're going to move blue, get it right up here, then it can hold on to it, and then we reposition these two. Perfect. Gosh, dang, this cycle don't like me. Is that the same one? <laughs> <laughs> Out. Okay, coming out. Okay. Okay, tighten it up. Tighten it up. Good, 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 good. right here and come in next to Mike and then we'll pick and pull together we may have to hook you back up with the snatch block so you're not pulling it over but I just need to get more right here Yeah, 
two and a half. Grab the front now and just pull it over this way. Okay, go ahead. said we'd be out by noon. That's close. Barely missed it. Barely missed it. So he right. called it. Boy, considering what we had to unload out of that thing, I thought we did amazing. Because I think I have less stuff in my motorhome yeah. than he has in that Tacoma. Yeah. But anyway, so there it is. It's up and it's out. We're going to go load it on the gooseneck and haul it into town. Um, and then he's going to come pick it up. Thank you so much, Mike, for I use mean, of the blazer, everything. Yeah, the Death Star. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sean. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Ryan, and, and I, I seriously only know you as Mike's dad. Mike's dad. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> no problem. Thank you guys so much for coming out and filming. Like everybody asked me about the hardest recovery, and I think we just nailed it. Yeah, it was more involved. Than I mean, most. it's just far as technical and difficult and that. So I'd say that was it. So there it is. Yeah. Sir. Thanks for watching.
Everybody jump and wave! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. That's a tough window. Here, Mike. Here, I'll get closer with this. 